Okay guys, we got rocks. <clears throat> I mean John did that video out there doing the spring metal detecting. We picked up some rocks on the way back, so we got I grabbed this one. And it's big. This one's kinda cool. It's got some mica in it. And then a piece of quartz. Some more mica looking stuff. This one has some crystals in it. Some holes. And this one has some pyrite in it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a I think it's a four part video. So we got to do four weeks, but we're going to tumble these, polish them down, and see what they come out and look like. So, first, we got to break that bad boy. So, I'll hit it on the side that has all the crap on it, and hopefully, it'll break. So, that'll do the job. And it broke. More like exploded. Are still gonna be two big pieces. So I'll try and tap it again. This time not so hard. That's better. It's cool looking stuff, man. Got some shinies in it. stuff's gonna polish out sweet. Let's try a couple pieces like this. It's a good looking one. Probably do that one. That right there will probably about fill our container. Throw a bunch of these little ones in there just because they'll probably get polished down into nothing. Save these three in the garden, they won't go anywhere. Now we'll take these back inside, put them in our tumbler, put all the stuff in. I'll show you how to do that here in just one sec. Okay, rocks. Here's our deal, just a small, I've had this tumbler forever. I used to use it to make black powder and pyrotechnics and then I use it to wash all my clad. I'll put some soap in there, a little bit of vinegar and like some Mr. Clean. Let it tumble for about two days and there just on itself. Take it out, rinse it, your clad comes out looking pretty good. So you can try that if you want. But let's put these in there. Put the ones I really like in there first. That one we broke, I think is gonna look sweet. Some of these are big old chunkers. I think that's it. The lid should be able to go on that. All right, guys. Ka-ching. This is what we got right here. So we want step one. I don't think we'll need any filler. So step one, and step one says instructions. Use two stable two tablespoons per one pound of rocks. Um, so I'm gonna say two pounds. So, four tablespoons. Let me get the tablespoon thing. One second. Okay, we got the wipes. 
measuring unit here. So two per pound, so four. Do this one handed. Yep. Drinking water. There's a lot of things you learn to do one handed when you have to film. What is that stuff? It's shiny. So one. Two, three, four. Rinse this off. Now, so now John says that we have to, because John does this all the time. We've I looked at some of his rocks before we went out in the desert. They look awesome. Now I think we have to fill this up with water. Fill this up with water three quarters of the way. I think is what John said to do. So it covers the rock. Bam! Over here. It's over here. Get our lid on. Remember how to do this. It's been a long time since I've used this thing. I haven't gone on a clad hunt for a long time. You know what I need to do is go hit the park and do a clad, clad run. These things aren't expensive either. I've had this tumbler forever, man. I think Harbor Freight has them for really cheap. Come on. Oh, whoa. Should have go in there, but not all the way in there. Fill that up. Okay. Now, shoot it on. gonna go for a week straight there ain't no ouch there ain't no hum on I think I can plug it into my toolbox I think I have the power just let it run out here in the garage area. Adventures at my house. That works. Come on. Oh, I see what's wrong. Little WD. Yeah. I'm moving now. Make sure my lid's on there all the way. 
way. So I'm gonna come out to puddle of water and, and grid everywhere. There we go. Now we'll just wait for a week. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like in a week. And then we'll do number, step number two. And then I'll show you what step number two looks like when it's done. And then three. And then four. And hopefully in a month, we'll have some really cool looking rocks.